and hey there YouTube uh, welcome to my first tutorial video for Falcon BMS uh, right now I'm just going to show you how to start up the F-16 and uh, and get it going for your missions um, as you can see we're already in the pit uh, first thing that we want to do is uh, I like to close the canopy that way it kind of muffles the, uh, the outside noise there um, so once we get that closed uh, let's take around take a look around the pit here so We've got the HUD, the upfront controller, uh, the left and right MFDs, uh, you know, all your basic analog uh, navigation functions, your SHI, your ADI ball, uh, airspeed indicator, uh, altimeter. Um, what we want to do first thing is we want to go ahead and switch our fuel selector knob here to normal. Uh, once that's switched over, we want to look over on the right side panel <coughs> under... Uh, uh, air conditioning essential and we want to change the air source to norm uh, once we get that set we want to look at the electrical panel here and we want to click this switch twice from battery to main power once that is set uh, we want to make sure our throttles all the way back in the idle position and we want to hit the <coughs> GFS switch to start to uh, we should see the run button light up green right there and if we look over in our RPM indicators, we can see the RPMs are going up. And once that gets to about uh, between 20 and 25 <clears throat> on the RPMs, uh, we'll go ahead and hit the uh, uh, throttle ident. Uh, so we're just waiting for here for it to uh, spool up. And uh, a couple people asked me what I use. I actually use the, uh, the Logitech G940 flight stick. Uh, I've got a bunch of buttons uh, mapped to it. I have a track IR headset and uh, you know just my normal uh, everyday desktop here. Uh, it is a beast of a gaming rig, but uh, yeah, I mean this game doesn't take uh, too much to, to run. Uh, but let's continue here. As you can see on the RPM indications, uh, it's stalled out about 25 RPM. Uh, and what we want to do is we want to move our throttle about halfway and then click the ident switch here. And then bring the throttle all the way back to uh, idle. And we can hear the engine now. It's spooling up even a... <clears throat> Excuse me. Something's got in my throat. So the engine's spooling up here. You can see the RPM's increasing. The f -tit, the uh, is going up. And there it kicks over. Yeah, that should get up between about 70 and 80%. And once that happens, you'll notice the, uh, the GFS2 light uh, run light goes out. And we can start up the, uh, the other systems while the engine's uh, warming up. So first thing I like to do, I like to go over here to the avionics panel. And all these switches here, uh, your MMC. And I'm sorry for the jitterness here. Uh, check hour is being a little bit funny right now. All right, so all these toggle switches here, uh, storage stations, GMFDs, upper controllers, GPS, data link. Uh, you want to make sure all those are up in the up position. And avionics power here, we want to switch the INS to normal align here, align normal. Uh, you'll notice on the DED here, uh, the INS is going to start to initialize. Um, from here, we can start looking at our sensor power. Uh, for this, we're going to go ahead and turn our left and right hard point selections on. Uh, turn the FCR on and go to radar artillery over there. Our sim wheel here on the uh, upfront controller, the UFC. Click that a couple times, that'll bring up the HUD. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of important information here. Uh, the way I've got mine set, my DED also replicates in the bottom of my HUD, uh, so I can see that. You can see our MFDs have come online. Uh, left MFDs going through the, uh, the built in test, the bit test. Uh, it's got about uh, two and a half minutes before that finalizes. And you'll notice on your HSD, uh, you don't see any flight plan, uh, and that's because we haven't uh, installed the, the DTC cartridge. We haven't loaded the uh, data link cartridge yet. I normally wait until after the INS is initialized, and then I'll load that, but you'll guys see it as, uh, as I'm going along here. So the next thing I want to do, I want to go ahead. I want to switch my auxiliary communications to UFC. Uh, that way the upright controller takes care of that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and kick my lights on. And that's done on the lightning panel. So if we look out here at the wingtips, we'll see them flashing. That's good. Uh, next thing we want to do, uh, your ECM. 
Make sure that's in the on position. Intercom, you want to click that button a couple times. Now in BMS, it is a bug. You won't see the dial actually turn, but you will hear it click. Uh, same thing with the ILS knob, which is right here. Uh, COM1, you want to turn all the way up. COM2, you want to turn all the way up. Missile warning, you want to turn all the way up. And the threat indication, you want to dial in that knob all the way up as well. Uh, you want to switch your radio to manual. Uh, you'll notice your radio lights will come on. Uh, what channel you're on will come on. We're going to leave it on channel 6 for now. Uh, we want to turn on our RWR. And here on our counters measures uh, panel, you want to make sure chaff and flares on. You want to make sure your RWR is on, jammers on. And then whatever program and mode, I'm going to leave it here on uh, program 1 semi. Um, go and turn landing lights. And that should be about it for our normal uh, checks here. Uh, you can notice on the enunciator panel, the only thing that says that's warning is seat not armed. Uh, I normally do that last. Um, and we have master caution light on, but that'll go off as well. So now we're just waiting for the INS to initialize. Uh, right now it's 2.7 over 60. We gotta wait until that gets to at least uh, 8.3 over 10 or 8.4 over 10. So uh, once that's done, guys, uh, I'll come back and continue on with this video. Okay, guys, so as you can see, the, uh, there in the DED, uh, we are aligned. And uh, we're ready to complete off our, uh, our checks here. Um, so next what we want to do, we want to go ahead and change our, uh, we want to go ahead and change the selector knob here on your avionics panel from norm to nav. And we want to load up our uh, data cartridge here. So what you want to do is you want to go into your base menu on your MFD and you want to go to where it says DTE. Uh, once you get to there, you'll see in the menu at the top uh, right, it should be the third OSB button. You want to hit load. It's going to go through all of them. And if you go back out to your HSD, uh, you can see that uh, the flight plan is now uh, indicated in your HSD, indicated by the lines. You can see your flight plan there. Uh, if we change it around, you get a better view with all our waypoints and everything. So once that is set, what we want to do next is... <clears throat> Excuse me. You want to kind of cycle our flight controls. Uh, so, you know, you want to cycle your sick, make sure you got good movements, make sure you see the tail moving back and forth up there. Cycle your rudders. You can see it on the tail fin up there. Uh, look back out the other side, make sure everything's working. And we should be good to go. Um, I kind of like to get my weapon set up while I'm down here on the ground. So, what you want to do next, you want to go into your SMS page, your stores management systems page. Take a look at what you got. Uh, looks like we got 9Xs. Uh, what else we got? Uh, BD-33s. So, we'll go ahead and leave those alone for now. Since uh, we're not really getting into that uh, in this video. But, once that's done, um, switch that back to HSD. Um, we're ready to call the Q&H from Tower. Um, and you do that, hit T twice. Request Q&H, this way we can kind of get the... Uh, the millibars here for the altimeter. Falcon 1-1, copy. And... Falcon 1, Kunis on approach, 2-9-0. Falcon 1-1, Kunis on approach, 2 9 And it looks like the QNH is 2-9-3-8, so we want to rotate the dial down here in our altimeter uh, to 2 9 3, 8, I believe is what she said. This will kind of zero out our altimeter uh, for this particular air base. There we go. 2 9 3, 8 millibars. It looks like we've zeroed it out pretty good. Uh, we want to call for request taxi. Falcon 1-1, one, one, ready for departure. Falcon 1-1, one, one, taxi, runway 36. Alright, so runway 36. Hold, Hold short. Uh, we'll go ahead and pull the hand, uh, arm the ejection seat now. You can look on the enunciator panel. There's no lights. Go ahead and hit the fault acknowledge button here on the left eyebrow. Uh, and it says no faults, all systems okay and we're ready to roll. Uh, so, <clears throat> what you want to do, obviously, you want to apply your tow brakes here, turn on your nose wheel steering, and uh, one have one them one. remove the chocks here. Jump one, one, Falcon. One, one. Copy. And it looks like we're ready to taxi. Uh, so, stay tuned for the next vid. Uh, 
it'll be there once we're on the runway. We'll take off and we'll head out towards the uh, range and drop some bombs. So thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.